Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Marry You by Bruno Mars. All right, uh, let's see, you're going to need a capo, unless you want to do big bar chords. Uh, I'm going to change the, the key by putting it, well, not change the key, I'm going to keep it in the same key by using the capo. So capo, third fret, this may be the easiest song you do all year. So uh, you need a D chord, to an E minor. it for the whole song. I'll show you some strum patterns that are uh, more complicated. But um, all right, so capo third fret. Uh, if you don't want, if you want to play in the original key with the big bar chords, uh, let's see, it would be an F chord to a G minor and then a B flat chord and then back to F. So if you'd like to do that, I don't know why you would, but it's like <laughs> so much easier, doesn't it? So this D chord right here, you move it to the fifth fret, it becomes F. Okay, so there's a little capo lesson for you. All right, so what I'm doing for a strum pattern is I'm going down, down, up, up, down, up. And I do that twice on each chord. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, E minor, same thing. He's looking for something fun to do. G chord. She wants to marry you is he. It's a beautiful night. They're looking for something dumb to do. Okay, so now if you want to marry it, you could do this. So what I'm doing there is on beat one, I'm kind of resting, so I kind of tap the strings a little bit like one, and then I do a down up on two, and then I stop the strings on three, and down up on four. So there's four beats in a measure, so it's like one, you do that four times on each chord, you think of it that way. really hard is like if you have to count at the same time so one two three four one two three four you know so that's hard <laughs> but that's basically what's going on all right um, so that part would work really well it seems like the drum is doing something like that uh, well I know this little chapel on the boulevard we can go to and no one will know um, you could do it during that part or, or later on whatever you like but those are the two strum patterns so uh, down, down, up, up, down, up, or and it literally does that for the whole song, okay? So let's go over our chords. A D chord is the third string, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. I'm going to mute the sixth string. It's not part of the chord. We don't want to hear it. Uh, e minor is the fifth and fourth string at the second fret. Just kind of pivot like if you're using your one and two fingers on the E minor you can leave your first finger down um, so fifth string second fret and then sixth string third fret and then my uh, first and second string at the third fret is a G chord then you can pivot on your ring finger back to D so this may be the easiest song ever 